What's up my beautiful cheekities? Welcome to today's diary entry. Today I'm going to be showing you a very quick and simple way to achieve those loose curls. So let's jump in. To start off, I like to go in with my Batiste Dry Shampoo. And the reason I'm doing this is because I'm running on my third day hair, you guys. Yes, you heard that correctly. This is third day hair. So it is very oily and flat. So yeah, nobody likes that. So we're gonna go in with my Batiste Dry Shampoo. And this happens to be one that is a dark, deep brown tint to it which helps with the blending. As you can see, it doesn't turn my hair too white, but at the same time, it definitely does the job of absorbing those oils. So I'm just spreading it out. I'm not really doing it in a specific way. I just know I definitely like to get all over my crown, make sure to get it all around my forehead because that's where the oil likes to gather, and definitely go underneath as well to help the curls Hold. So after blending it all out, make sure we get all those white parts out. I'm going to go in with this traceless hair ring. I am in love with it, you guys, because I'll tell you, it helps it so that your hair does not have that ring mark after you take it down from having it up on a hair tie and it is so fantastic. I will have that link down below. I am so hooked. You wanna make sure you get your hair up pretty high but not too high. Now I want to go in with my Numi 32 millimeter wand. It doesn't have to be this particular wand. Just know that if you would like a tighter curl, make sure you use a smaller wand. And if you'd like an even more loose curl, then definitely make sure you get an even bigger barrel. So I'm gonna start with the first piece and make sure it's not too big or small, just the perfect size so that you don't have to hold it for that long. And with the first piece, I like to curl it backwards away from your face. Hold it for about 12 seconds, depending on how hot your wand is. And I also like to hold about one and a half or one inch off not touching the ends and there is your curl so as you can see I am very happy with it so we're gonna move along to the second one now for the second curl you're not gonna curl backwards we're gonna curl towards your face so same thing, just curl and then hold about one inch off your tip, not curled, just like that. And as you can see, I'm having too much fun having a little dance party. And there you have it. Now for the rest, I'm just going to fast forward so you can see how I do it. After we're done with that dance break, what I'm going to do is take in my Argan Oil of Morocco Finishing Spray and spray it all over my hair, making sure or try to avoid 
the area before your hair tie so that it doesn't stay in that position. Make sure, make sure you definitely focus on those curls only. So what I like to do is spray, and as you can see, I do spray quite a lot. And as I'm doing it, just curling my hair upward to help the hair hold even more that curl. So after you're done with that, we're going to go ahead and wait about five minutes to let those curls cool off. And in the meantime, I'm just gonna go ahead and check my Instagram and all my social media platforms. Okay, so it's been five minutes. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and take off my hair tie, but make sure you do not just pull it off because you do not want to ruin those curls by pulling on them. So I just go in very carefully and take it off very gently like so. Okay, so after you let your hair down, I don't like to comb it still. So what I like to do is basically just kind of fluff it up and run my fingers through those curls. I don't like to use a brush, I just basically like to style it with my fingers, just running my fingers through those curls and styling it just with your fingers. Now I like to part to the side, you can part whichever way you'd like to style your hair. And this is the completed look. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching and until next time, un besote.